they can take that voter registration application today to the post office and send it by regular mail and it will get to Ben Gentles tomorrow or they can even go to the post office tomorrow morning and send it by special delivery. You can't deliver it in person, but it has to go through the post office. And any way it'll reach Ben Gentles' office before the close of business tomorrow, they can be legally and uh, eligible to vote. The profoundest revolution that has taken place in our generation and is still in the process of revolution is the educational revolution, the student revolution. And it's to that that I would like to address my remarks this afternoon. The generation of students that are now existing at our campuses are either going to save our world or they're going to preside over its destruction. The revolt on campus has brought the educational process of America into jeopardy for the first time. What were some of the disadvantages to be of the 11th game? Well, as I stated a moment ago, I'd really rather not comment on advantages and disadvantages. I think each institution would have its own ideas as to what and would its be own and its own problems, yes. Uh, uh, the most obvious uh, advantage, uh, probably, that most of them would look at would be financial. Uh, there are various other advantages that might accrue to an individual institution, and there are some very definite disadvantages that institutions must look at. Well, I think, you know, it's the only single girl on television. Mm -hmm. You can't count the flying nun. <laughs> that's an occupational hazard. But uh, it's the only single girl, and I think it's the only one dealing with the problems of a girl that's not married or doesn't live at home with her family or any of those other problems that they deal with in other television series. And I think for that reason, it, it, it gets that certain audience that just, it has nowhere else to go, plus, you know, the other audience as well. Yeah. But uh, I think that's where its biggest audience is, with young people. Do you have a preference, whether television or movies, or does it make a difference to you what you do? Material it makes a difference to me. I want to like the character, I want mm -hmm. to play it, and I want, I'd like to see it. That's what I felt about that girl and Jenny. When I read each of them, when I heard about each of them, it was the kind of thing that even if I didn't do it, if somebody else did it, I wanted to watch it because yeah. it was something I liked. And that, to me, is a criterion, whether it's on the stage or in television or in motion pictures. Were Senator Hall not el in ineligible by virtue of the Constitution, I would be most pleased to accept his filing for the office of Governor of the State of Texas. My rejection of his application is the quickest means by which Senator Hall can have determined by his court whether or not he is eligible to run. As a fellow Democrat, I I sincerely appreciate you extending me every opportunity to have our hearing. Uh, as you well know, uh, I have legal counsel. We disagree with your interpretation. We firmly believe that 
the selection for governor of Texas should be made at the polls, and I thank you for your courtesy. We have been invited by the uh, ministers of Dallas and by the ministers of Fort Worth for a crusade in each city. But now the attempt is being made to unite the two cities and the surrounding cities and make it an area-wide crusade, possibly in 71 or 72. And if we receive that type of an invitation, which I believe we will, uh, we will be coming uh, for a crusade uh, in 71 or 72. Here in this area, young seminarians have a problem in that they are assigned to work as youth directors, educational directors, or whatever, in some of the local churches. Some of them, whether they be theological liberals or conservatives, are sometimes sociological liberals, and this causes them to be discharged from the churches with which they work. Now, what is your reaction to this, and do you think it's right or wrong? What are your thoughts on it? Well, I would have to speak in generalities because I don't know of any specific incidents. And I would have to say that our first responsibility is the proclamation of the gospel and the nurturing and the training of the congregation in the development of the spirit. Man is a mind that needs educating. He is a body uh, that needs medicine and he needs food and he needs uh, so forth. He, but he's also a spirit, and the spirit needs uh, nourishment from the Word of God. And some of our young uh, fellows out of seminary, as I was in my day, though I never went to seminary, uh, get, uh, we go one way or the other. We, it's hard to keep a balance. And uh, I think that what is needed is a balance. To them, but they died. They really died. When this food stamp man came to see you, uh, did he take you to Dallas? Yes, sir. When you went to court, did he tell you what to say? Yes, sir.
We're talking about an index proposal, so the raise varies per person and number of years of experience. At the very beginning of the salary schedule, we're talking about a beginning BA salary of around 7000 This would mean a raise of about $600. At the top of that BA range, we're talking about a $10,150 salary, which is a raise of about $1,400. By the same token, the MA range is from $7,700, or a raise of about $1,000, to 11550 or a raise of about $1,300. Bob, often when we think of uh, teachers' salaries increase, we always think of more taxes. Can this be done without uh, any additional taxation? No, it can't be done without additional taxation. There's not a, there is not a proposal that can be done without a, additional taxation. This will take the state funds, and we estimate around $5 million will come from the state, plus some additional local funds in order to fully implement the program. Uh, what, what are the chances of getting these funds? You think that? Uh, you think it will be accepted by the state? We think the chances are quite good. Of course, the, si the state portion is already funded, and we'll be getting this money automatically. Now, our problem will be on the local level. We'll have to raise local tax funds in order to supplement our program for teachers that we have who are above what we're allowed to have from the state. We have some 280 teachers above what the state proportion gives us. Senator Hall from Rockwall has pointed out or has claimed that he has your support in the race. How much of your support does he in fact have? Well, Senator Hall, according to the press accounts, uh, said that he expected my support, Lieutenant Governor Barnes' support, and Mr. Benson's support, and Senator Yarber's support. I think he named everybody except his opponent. And I think we'll just leave it at that uh, for the present. I have nothing further to say about it. You don't intend to campaign for Senator Hall? Does I'm not uh, going to take an active campaign, uh, frankly, on behalf of anybody that I know of. The only, the only thing that I am going to do uh, 
uh, which I think I have already said to you, uh, I am going to try to help uh, Lloyd Benson, whom I've known for many years, uh, in his campaign for the United States Senate. But I don't anticipate that I'll, uh, I'll occupy any, uh, any position in his campaign. I'm just going to try to help him wherever I can. Governor, if Lloyd Benson should lose that race, who would you support, Senator Yarborough or George Bush? Well, I've always supported the Democratic ticket, and uh, I, don't, I think that's a problem that I'm not going to have to face. I really think Lloyd Benson is going to win the, uh, the nomination. Obviously, there has been um, a great deal of soul searching on um, on the amount of uh, uh, of over violence and over emphasis on sex, and um, those programs which have uh, uh, have in the past um, uh, looked to uh, excessive violence, I think, will be replaced by uh, uh, by other forms. I take it then that we can look forward to seeing less crime and violence on ABC this fall. I don't know that they can look forward to less crime, but I'm certain that they will look forward to less violence. We have uh, applied through World Championship Tennis uh, for an open classification for the tournament. Uh, we're, uh, this is something that has to go to the international body for approval. We're hopeful that it'll be classed as an open tournament. If not, it'll be a pure professional tournament. And uh, I think we can safely say that it'll have one of the outstanding fields of any tournament in the world. Uh, already confirmed, we have Rod Laver, uh, Dennis Ralston, Ray Moore, Butch Buckholz, Roy Emerson, and Roger Taylor, who are all six uh, uh, professional players either playing for World Championship Tennis or the National Tennis League. Uh, and, uh, other than that, we have invitations out to uh, many of the other top players in the world, and I think it'll probably be the finest tennis ever seen in Dallas, and uh, we're proud to be part of it and be associated with the Dallas News and with SMU. It will be, uh, of course, played at SMU. Why was SMU picked? Well, I think the facility, uh, Moody Coliseum, uh, is uh, a very good one. We wanted an indoor site so that we would be weather protected and wouldn't have the problems of a rain out. And uh, so uh, we just uh, felt that facility lent itself better to tennis than any other in the area.
if Roy Benson should lose to uh, to uh, Senator Yarbrough, would you support George Bush or Ralph Yarbrough? No, I don't. I don't recall. Uh Man, you commented that if uh, Governor Smith gets the gubernatorial nomination, you just might support Ralph Eggers. Well, I approached the minority leader in regard to a current problem that we have in Florida. We hope we never come to this point, but I'm examining all of my legal remedies in regard to the problem of forced busing. And if I am denied in the courts, uh, it's my feeling that in one instance uh, a judge has uh, uh, violated the intent of Congress in the civil rights law and if I'm not successful in the courts, then the only other avenue uh, to change that uh, position and to, to make that which is illegal legal, that is to get forced busing stopped, would be by an impeachment of that decision by impeaching the judge through the Congress. Mr. Ford, are you willing to go along with him in that move? Well, I uh, am in no position at this point to uh, make any commitment one way or another. Of course, the governor well, I has. I think that's kind of an embarrassing. That wasn't the question. The question is, that as minority leader and as the speaker of the house, they can advise me as to the technicalities. That's all I came here for. Mr. Ford doesn't have to take any kind of position like you ask. Well, uh, in my opinion, uh, the uh, governor is following the proper course of action by pursuing uh, his remedies on behalf of. Uh, his constituents in the state of Florida in the courts of the United States. That's uh, where he hopes and his people hope uh, adequate remedy can be found. The total bond issue program is $46,300,000 over the next three years. This is broken down into six specific proposals. $23 million for street improvements, $750,000 for fire protection improvements, $3,150,000 for parks and recreation improvements, $2 million for improvements at Meacham Field, $7,900,000 for a new central library, and $9,500,000 for sewage treatment plan. What about the financial plan for retiring these bonds? The retirement plan for the bonds would involve in 1970-71, it would not change the city's debt levy for debt retirement. In 1971-72, it would require a one cent increase, and in 1972-73, an additional cent for a total of a two cent increase over a three year period. Mr. Moran, from your hour tour of the Ford plant, does it seem like it's going to be a difficult property to get rid of? Uh, yes, it, uh, it could be, uh, in that it's going to require a specific user, uh, someone in the, uh, probably in the automotive manufacturing field that can use uh, the facilities, the assembly lines, and the facility uh, as it is laid out, yes. How long do you think it'll be before you can get rid of a property like the Ford plant here? That's a good question. I don't know the answer to that one, and I don't think anybody does. Sometimes prospects uh, develop uh, in a very short time, and on the other hand, it could take a year or two.
we'll have uh, on exhibit approximately 2,500 animals, including uh, several prides of lions, uh, elephants, uh, a couple of dozen zebra. We'll be having chimpanzees, uh, this type of uh, facility. What about security for the animals? Protect them from the people or vice versa? Well, yes, this is a maximum factor that we have, have to consider. The, the entire uh, reserve will be uh, uh, encompassed by a 14-foot perimeter fence, which certainly any animal within the reserve uh, will not be able to escape from. Although the Texas General Land Office is relatively obscure, it occupies about half of this five-story building, handles transactions on 23 million acres of state land, and brings in $75 million a year. Some officials would like to put a limit on public school and university trust funds in which this money is deposited to earn interest and dividends for education and spend the land lease profits each year. Veteran Land Commissioner Jerry Sadler disagrees. Well, if this money was ever turned over to uh, the politicians for appropriation all at one time, why, it wouldn't last 15 minutes. It would be gone. And as it is now, under present-day investments, why, uh, it will double itself uh, every 11 years. In other words, uh, every time we put a dollar in there and, and keep it in there, well, that's a dollar saved from uh, taxpayers' pocket. And it, uh, at their present uh, system of appropriating and so on, uh, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't last until breakfast time. Incidents involving Sadler and newsmen and a legislator in recent months have prompted two Democrats and a Republican to run against him and brought me the assignment to see what a Jerry Sadler really is. When asked about the conflicts, the commissioner said he had difficulty with two or three newspaper men because they wrote untruths. But he blamed problems with legislators on demands for financial favoritism. Oh, there's tremendous pressure at all times. That's the reason why that I don't let more of them see me than uh, are able to do so. It's because most of it is pressure. And uh, there would be pressure from uh, some of the members of the legislature. Uh, some of them had, have tried that pressure, but... What justification do you think there is for such strong action as uh, choking a legislator? I have never choked a legislator. Well, Mr. Johnson said you choked him. Well, I have never choked a legislator. I got uh, a member of the legislature by the tie because we were fixing to inventory some artifacts and treasures that were taken off of the uh, Spanish ships down there. And uh, he had just been saying that he was going to impeach me and the legislature and so on and made some accusations. And I uh, came over here to put on a show and I told him no, that uh, he was not allowed in there, that we didn't have any shows over here. And he started on in. I got him by the tie and he said that I choked him. And I, uh, I never choked him. I never put my hand on Any time that I choke someone, they'll know about it. The House of Representatives considered censuring Sadler, but settled for a mild reprimand. As to how he affected a Channel 8 news crew that spent the afternoon with him, he is strong-willed, perhaps even cantankerous, and certainly colorful, as shown by this explanation of strict office rules against long hair on men and short skirts on women. We're not, uh, we're not running a beatnik uh, organization, or uh, we're not uh, running a miniskirt uh, organization where people could be detracted from their work and so on. And if you, uh, if you really want to uh, uh, keep the male employees from working, why, well, you just let someone go along frisking with a, with a dress that just covers up a little more than the bottom, and, and, and you don't get any work until they're gone. <laughs> so you just don't take any chances with that? No, sir. I do not. You have published a booklet through your office here which explains, uh, at least uh, from your standpoint, the situation regarding the artifacts recovered from the Spanish galleon off the, just off the Texas coast. 
Um, the fact that, uh, why did you pay for this booklet yourself? Because if I pay for it, I can do with it what I want to, and I can tell anyone in the state of Texas to go to and stay put. Sadler says the treasure squabble is what made him decide to run again rather than retiring after this year. But he says, as in the past, he will not actively campaign for the office. Whether he can be successful this time with the recent notoriety and three opponents in the picture, only time will tell. This is Roger McDonald, Channel 8 News in Austin. In the 1965 bond program, particularly in the last two years, we have experienced considerable difficulty because of inflation and increased construction costs. This has precluded the completion of some of the projects that were originally committed in the 65 program. By looking ahead three years instead of five, we feel that our estimates can be more accurate and we can also do a better job of projecting exactly where these projects will be needed in the shorter period of time. 